Again, you seem to have forgotten the pecking order around here. Is that so? Yes, that's so. Well, why don't you remind me? My pleasure. I'm a surgeon. You're a nurse. Which means what? I'm supposed to bow down before your godlike Which means presence? you're supposed to treat me with some modicum of respect. Commenting on my personal life is completely inappropriate. Let me tell you a little something about on-campus relationships. Folks start out floating on air, stealing time in supply closets. Then things go south. And those same people start slamming around, barking orders, and running the staff off their feet. What's your point? If you and Dr. Scorpio don't want comments made about your romance, then don't play it out in the middle of the hospital for everyone to see. That, Surgeon Drake, is inappropriate. In case you've forgotten, Mr. Owens is in 712. I haven't seen a piff and you ticked off like that in a while. What'd you say to her? Don't start with me right now. Oh, well, let me guess. It has something to do with Robin. You know, I, I know I'm not your first choice of confidant, but... Uh, if you got something on your chest, I'm here, and I actually do care about you, Patrick. You know about stone cakes? Yeah. Robin's first love, right? He died from AIDS? Yeah. How am I supposed to compete with that? I mean... And there's a reason why Juliet killed herself. She could live till she was 105. No man will ever compare to the love she had and lost when she was 14. And that's, that's Robin. Stone is permanently enshrined in her memory. Perfect and, and, and tragic. The minute that memory is threatened, the minute she feels anything real or lasting with me, she freaks out like she's being unfaithful to the guy. I mean, no disrespect, but he's been dead for 10 years. Maybe you should, you know, see it from her perspective. I mean, she fell in love with this guy Stone, right? And what happened? He died. Now she's fallen in love again. Why don't you connect the dots? Nobody knows better than you how I fell apart completely when your mother died. And even now, it still feels like my loss. Though, for the record, I know you lost her, too. Well, let's not worry about that right now. Maybe it was because uh, she died on my table under my hands. I'll never know for sure. Um, I, I, I just would have spiraled out, I think, anyway. Just she was that central to my life. Anyway, the point is that, that e even now, years later, thinking about feeling that and risking that devastating loss again, it just, it just stops me in my tracks. And Robin is actively in a relationship with you, feeling love again, and she's taking the risks. So it's the potential of loss that's got her all freaked out. Yeah, sometimes fear can be pretty debilitating. And it's often easier just to blow up the thing that's causing the fear. Oh,